Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how to create this really easy gunshot wound for Halloween. I'm starting off with some pre-made liquid latex wounds. I actually filmed a video on how to do this last year, so I'll leave a link to it down below if you're interested. I'm going to take the round wounds that I've made, and what I'm going to do is just take some scissors and cut off any excess latex. You want to keep it as minimal as possible because you want it to look really realistic. Next I decided to cut through the little hole in the middle just because I wanted to create a bit more depth and I felt I'd get that just by cutting through that hole. It was a little bit tricky because I feel like there was a bit of tissue stuck to it. So what I did was just pushed it through the end of a makeup brush, not all the way through, but I just wanted to leave it for a few seconds just to let it dry out. Next I'm just going to cleanse the skin on my forehead just where I want to apply the wound. I'm just doing this with a bit of micellar water on a cotton wool pad and I'm using the dry side just to make sure that the skin's completely dry. Then I'm using a cheap makeup sponge, cutting it in half and just pouring a tiny amount of liquid latex into a disposable container. The reason I cut the sponge instead of using scissors is because I really like the textured effect that it leaves. It kind of almost creates a stippling brush and I really like that. So I'm just going to use a tiny bit of latex and just create a little circle, just a bit bigger than your wound. You don't want to use too much latex and you just want to apply a really thin layer of this. This is going to act as glue and then you want to press your wound firmly down on top of the liquid latex. Once you're happy with the position of your wound, just stick it down as best you can and then go back into your liquid latex and go over the whole area again, just making sure to seal the edges in properly. I am making the circle a bit bigger, but if you don't want to spend too long trying to match it up to your skin then just try and keep it as small as possible and that way it will look really realistic next i'm just fanning myself just to try and get the latex to dry a little bit quicker you can use a hair dryer but i didn't have one to hand once that's almost dry i'm going to go in with a second layer of latex and again i just want to wait for that to dry completely I'm then just going to set the latex with some powder. For this you can either use loose powder or pressed powder. I just tend to use a really cheap one because all I really want it to do is just take the shine off the latex and so you can be quite generous with this step. Then I'm just going to break off another tiny bit of my sponge and go in with some foundation. I tend to find that if I use a foundation that's a tiny bit too pale for me that just matches my skin completely because don't forget this is going over latex and not your actual skin. I should also mention at this point that I never Never use my actual makeup brushes over latex in case the latex hasn't dried properly or anything that's why I just use cheap disposable sponges moving on to the fun part I'm just taking some black cream color and I'm literally just placing this inside the circle this will just create a bit more depth I'm then taking this very lightly all the way around the outside edges of the latex just because I really want it to look seamless but I don't want it to be too pigmented I just want to create almost a bruising effect so I'm going back over with my foundation sponge just to help blend that out. Next I'm using this Makeup Forever pan stick in red and I'm just going all around the circle part because I seem that if a bullet had gone through your head there'd be a lot of blood and I'm just doing this to cover up the latex, blend out the edges and just make it look as if the blood's all pouring out. Next I'm going in with that black colour just to intensify it a little bit more and to be honest I'm going back and forth quite a bit because I really want to create a bruised effect around the outside and make the inside look very bloody with a lot of depth to it. So you can obviously play around with this and use any products that you already have and just go with whatever shape you have. Then I'm going in with a matte eyeshadow. This is a very grey toned brown shade and it's almost got a hint of purple to it. And I'm just stippling that all the way around the wound just to add to that bruising effect. And of course I'm overlapping it slightly onto the latex too. Then I'm going in with the coagulated blood. Now this is really thick blood that doesn't drip and it's meant to look like fresh blood. So I'm taking it all the way over the black that I did in the centre and slightly over the wound too. This is partly because I had a tiny gap that was just sticking up from my skin and I didn't want it to look too false. So I've kind of filled it in with the blood and I'm just taking another sponge as if I've tried to wipe it away and just stippling tiny bits of blood all around my face. I don't want to put tons there because I feel like that would look really fake. For example, if you had a cut you wouldn't put your hand all in the blood and spread it all over your skin there would just be tiny bits that you've accidentally got on your fingers and you've touched other parts of your face so that's what I really wanted to recreate lastly I'm using the most popular blood and this is the one that you can buy everywhere it's really runny and it kind of drips down your face a little bit before it sets so I'm just pouring that into the little hole and just letting it drip naturally this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would so I did go back in with my sponge just to blend it all out and just stipple it just a tiny bit but again like I said you can literally play around with this and do whatever you want 
But this is the final look. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you do decide to try it out for Halloween, then please don't forget to tag me on Instagram or send me a tweet or something because I would love to see what you come up with. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.